That was actually my first time doing that. All right. Uh, hi, I'm Emily Terrell. I'm a senior from Burke High School. Who and this is Leaving a Mark. My mother and I have a running joke about my grandmother, wondering if the dementia went away when she went up to heaven or if she still has it and asked the angels, oh, is that Christmas? She didn't mean to forget and I lost sight of that, wanting to scream at her for not remembering my name. I just told you 27 times my name is Emily Elizabeth Terrell. I am your granddaughter, why don't you see me? But I bite my tongue smile and say, I'm Emily, Grandma. My mother told me Grandma was crazy even before dementia, eating raw onions like apples, never remembering that everyone knew where the spare key was. We knew it wasn't just dementia the day we walked in on my grandmother sitting on the living room floor, staring at a picture of Grandpa. His golden brown eyes, his chiseled face, cheeks puffed out, lips turned up to show his crooked teeth. She didn't recognize him. I wanted to scream, he was your husband. The spare key is under that stupid statue. Why is there toothpaste on this sandwich? Please come back to me. But I bite my tongue and say, I would love a sandwich. Later, my mother sits on her bedroom floor, looking at a picture of you, failing to recall who you used to be before we became lost to your memories. Grandma says nothing when we visit her in the nursing home. My mother holds her small bony hand, stroking her palm with her thumb, and with all of her strength, Grandma brings those hands to her lips, and for a split second, we believe she remembers because she, she presses her lips against my mother's hand and bit her. I wanted to scream, why couldn't you have left those marks on me? <sighs> mm, darn it. Left those marks on my skin so that I would have a piece of you, some small symbol of your being to prove that you are here, thinking those marks will fade from my mother's skin, but if you had left them on me, I would have them tattooed so they would last. I would tell those who wondered, about you, making your memory immortal, never getting tired of your name singing through my ears. My memories may fade like they did for you, Grandma, but the marks you left on me never could.